Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So here we go, second episode of the season. Now, yeah, we didn't have the best start in the last episode, did we? Fortunately, form has improved. Uh, we have won one league game, which we'll go through shortly. But we are starting to move on a little bit, and that is a plus. We're currently in 8th place, 3 points on the board. We had a 5-3 victory over Aberdeen there. But we have been decent off screen, so we had a 3-0 victory over air in the cup. And it was a hat-trick from Charlie Brown. So a goal on 6 minutes, 42, and then 49. We had 14 shots, 5 on target. They had, a, you know, a poor team performance. We were okay all round. Brown with an 8.7, Logan with an 8.7. But we are through to the next round there against there. And that was a good place to be to get us back on our way. We then won 3-1 at home against AK Athens. Now, they have got that away goal. We had 32 shots, 13 on target and got three goals. They had four and four. They only managed 33% possession as we absolutely dominated. Brown with a goal on 60, Divine on 77 and Edwards on 80. Edwards getting his second yellow card on 89 minutes for us to go down to 10. But by that point, we'd absolutely ruined them. It weren't a bad performance from them, but we just dominated on the ball. And then we had a 5-3 victory over Aberdeen. Now, this is a classic SPL game, as in we cannot defend for Toffee. So we win 5-3 after having 14 shots, 8 on target, 57% possession. They have 4 shots on target and score 3 goals. Standard, that is, isn't it? Let's be honest. The Ginelli with a goal on 4. Roof on 27. Hernandez on 31. Divine on 43. Divine again on 59. Roof on 60. Ginelli on 65. And then Roof gets his hat-trick on 88 minutes. But we run out and win 5-3. So, like I say, that puts us 8th in the table at the moment, anyway. 3 points on the board. Minus 1 goal difference now. Celtic and Rangers have both won their opening three games. Celtic on plus 10 goal difference already. With the top two goal scorers in the league has been Milik on five and Turnbull on three. Not great. We have had some transfer business. When we look at the transfer history, Jamie Walker has left us. He has gone to Coventry for 1.7 million. He has been with us forever. You know, I know he left and then come back. But 1.7 million for a player that wasn't really going to feature for us this season. I will take that. You know, he's been a good stalwart for us and he's still a decent player at 30 year old. But to get that kind of money for somebody that was now a fringe player, I'm happy with. We also managed to get Tobias Zarate off the book. So he has gone off to Valladolid and he has gone for 4.8 million. So he made a 2.8 million profit on him. Played a total of 30 games for us, got nine goals. So he wasn't exactly prolific. We paid 2 million, like I say. Good player and he's probably going to be one of those we're going to look at in three, four years time ago. He is incredible. But at the moment, just doesn't quite suit, so off he goes. And then players coming in, we've brought in Lauren Shanklin. So I've tried to bring some more Scottish contingent in. So Shanklin has joined us, 28-year-old Scotsman, 13 caps, 4 goals for Scotland. Playing up front, we'd finish in 16, determination 17, composure 15. He's not slow neither, we'd acceleration 13, pace 12. When you look at it there though, all about the attacking. So yeah, he has joined us. He's yet to play a game. Can't play a game for us yet as he's not registered. But he joins us for 2.8 million. That's a bargain. Bargain for me. He's already played this season. He's got three goals in four games for Dundee. But yeah, we'll see more of him, I'm sure. And then another player coming in is a 28-year-old Callum Patterson. Another Scottish international. 12 caps there, no goals. Can basically play up front or behind the striker, should I fancy that. Or he can play out on that left-hand side. But yeah, he's another decent player. He doesn't actually look that good when you look at, you know, he's all the way down. He's the fourth best player at the club in that position. But for me, quality, he's, he's probably not going to play as a striker. He can play as a target man. That's the way I want to go. He's got heading 15, you know, and he's jumping and whatnot, 14. Six foot one, not the tallest. But yeah, Callum Patterson comes in as well. And we get him on a free transfer after he left Sheffield Wednesday. So we're in his second leg away at Athens end against AEK in the Europa League. Now we've got that two goal lead but they have got an away goal. So team selection wise then we're going to go with Gore in goal, Clark, Finley, Suta and Logan, Rinner Motter in the holding role with Divine, Coventry and Byrne and then Brown and Hernandez up front. This is the exact same team from last season. Obviously Rinner Motter is the only player that's been added and I'd be interested to see on screen, now on camera for you guys, if we can get a victory because I have been mixing it up a bit and I think we're good to go with that. So the social roundup then, Jason Arnott says Divine starting is a terrible call, don't believe you. And Emily Chalmers says, want to be excited for this match, but after the ordeal of getting here, I'm mainly focused on staying awake. Chris ain't that far away. Let's go out there and carry straight on where you left off, send your assistant to that, and let's get a win. It's all I want. 
genuinely, let's just cruise through. Because this is the final stage before the group draw. The stadium is absolutely packed. AK Athens fans out in force as Brown is breaking away. And he's going. He's run the length of the pitch by himself. Brown gets the away goal. There you go. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Brown picks it up on the edge of his own area. There's our fans. That's all that could fit in. And we are one. They'll be sat away goal that matters. Brown picks it up there. And he's going. Look at him going all absolutely buzzing. Two minutes, 25 seconds in. We go 1-0 up. That's all I can ask for. Got another highlight then on five minutes. Hernandez. That is poor. Rina Motta heads it down. It's not a great header. And they go out. Right, we pick it up again. Clark on it. Go on. Clark to Coventry. That's nice. Hernandez has a crack from distance. And one more. Hernandez. Fourth goal of the season. Six minutes on the clock. We are 2-0 up. I couldn't have asked for a better start here as we knock it about nicely. Hernandez now out of nowhere through the middle of two of our players and straight to the top corner. And there's a highlight straight from kickoff. Can we make this 3 now as they go out? It's ours to win there. It's headed away. We're going to pick it up. It's going to be nice and clean as Finlay strolls back. Let's go. Oh, we lose our Finlay there. That is poor. We've got a man free in the middle. It's gone now. Vitolo. Pick it up. Vitolo beats the man. Ball across. Shinetti. We That's a great challenge, that. Paulino. Come on, guys. Paulino is just outside the box. Ball in. And they hit the bar. It's gone. Wowza. That was a close one. As we're getting close to the 20-minute mark now. AK Athens have had the chance. There's a big one as well. But we're hanging on. 25 minutes then. Clark with the throw. Rinamotta. I go back out wide, but he doesn't. He goes all the way back to Logan. Rinamotta. We are three out wide. Logan, there you go. Finds him. Clark plays it through to Divine. And there we go. Reese Divine. Fourth goal of the season. 3 0 up on 25 minutes. That is game over for me. 6 1 now on aggregate. Rinamotta to Logan. That ball should have come earlier, but he gets it through to Divine, and we get the goal. We are absolutely bossing it. 57% possession. They had a similar amount of shots on target. This time he's just ticking away nicely. You know, couldn't have dreamed of being 3 up on 25 minutes. It's on 37 then. There is another highlight. That's got to be our ball. Rinna Motta is having a decent game today. Coventry out to Burn. What can Burn do? Hernandez It's blocked. He's in there. Burn again. That is a shock and pass out. He might as well have cleared it for them. As Vitolo and it's gone. The highlights just keep coming. Clark then to Brown. Clark, Rinna Motta. Right, Finley. Let's go. Divine. Ball through. It's a poor ball. And Pinsagolio in goal. What a name that is. Claims it. We're easy there. Logan. Sutar. Burn. And he's going with it. Hernandez. Burn. He's going. He's in the box. Ball across. Got to be Brown. It's a big save. And he's gone. We are absolutely dominating here. Paulino then. Ball in. It's cleared away. Wow, they had a big chance there. And we stick it out for a throw. How they haven't scored a goal yet is beyond me. We're not going to keep a clean sheet at this rate. And there you go then. 3 nil up at half time. I'm absolutely delighted with your performance. Look at that team performance. Not one player underperforming. I think we just leave it like that. I think that's the way to go. We're going to drop to a more cautious approach now. I don't want to... We're getting caught up, and that's what I'm trying to say. We're getting caught up at the back, and we need to close that up. So we've had 14 shots, 5 on target, 62% possession. Not bad. As we have a highlight just before the hour mark. Shinetti to Polino. Ball through. Shinetti, he's in the box, ball across, he's hit the bar, they've hit the bar twice, and Finley sticks it out to corner ball. Right, Verde then, ball in, cleared away, easy. And Shinetti's going to get there, but surely this will be the end of the highlight. Verde, it's not, it's going to carry on, what is he doing there? What kind of decisions that, ball in, he's headed away, and Burns going to get it. 
and that should be the end of the highlight but it's not it's carrying on again for to Vitolo ball through to Simeau what a save though from Gory. so they've had three opportunities in that highlight mental corner ball then Verde it's in Mitrovic it's over the bar that's not the Mitrovic is it can't be as we go into the last 20 minutes then I think you know we'll make some changes now Coventry has dropped down a little bit so we're going to get we're going to get Irving on into the middle there we'll bring Lombardo on for Finley and do I make me last change Rinna Motter off Clarkson on that'll do all three changes made in one go freshen up a little bit then so there's 13 minutes left to go Mingos to Vitolo that's a great ball through to Shinetti has a crack. It's blocked though. We've done the majority of the stuff right. You know, we've we've stuck to the basics today. And we've looked good for it. Polino. They're trying cheeky little back heels and everything. What are you doing? Three nil down or home. The fans are still going wild though. Fur. Oh, that is a terrible ball. And Gory picks it up. That's not ideal is it playing it's we're, we're slow at the back as Clark picks it up Lombardo Sutar and ball over the top it's a great ball to Brown is he going to get there Brown what a goal Charlie Brown six goal a season what a ball that is the Lombardo just hits it long Brown gets his six goal a season and we are falling up with 11 minutes left to go right that pass there. Uh, keeper. You know, that's the keeper's ball. The keeper goes down before getting there. Six shots on target, four goals. Not a bad place to be at all. That's a poor effort from Logan. As Vitolo. He's been decent for them. Leroy Fur. Vitolo through. He's going to square it. Got a score. And Simei out. There you go. They get the goal. 7-2 on aggregate. It's his first goal of the season. 4-1 on the night. Thus far. Vitolo, like I say, he's done some good work. It's a great pass through as well. We just keep him on as we back into the area. And then we don't pick up Simeon. The team is shattered as well. Look at the conditioning. And that is it then. 4-1, 17 shots, 6 on target. I'm very pleased with the performance. Well done, lads. And there we go. We are through. How have the fans reacted? So proud of hearts today. And James Griffith says Brown made it look like he was playing against the youth team. Hashtag easy. So first leg triumph helps Hearts past AK. I don't think so. I think we, we absolutely bossed it anyway. Hearts win in a Europa League playoff. We get 255k for our win. And Brown impresses. Let's praise his performance. Let's keep that going. So we get 2.66 million for getting into the group stages. That draw will be coming up shortly. And then we've got Hamilton next. All right, so here we go. Then the draw for Europa League group stage is being made. So let's get into it. Are we in the bottom set of seeds? We are again. So let's draw the teams and see what group we end up in. Right, so those groups, and we've got Sevilla, Apoel, and Vic Guimarães, AZ, Rangers, and Maribor, by Leverkusen, Lazio, Everton, Marseille, Krasnodar, Karabag. That's a group we'd like to be in. Leon, Real Sociedad, Bromby. Sporting, Dynamo, Kiev, Cluj, Atlanta, Bruges, Astana, and Chelsea, Prague, Wolfsburg. Some difficult groups there. Really difficult groups. So here we go then. We'll be out shortly. So Denser in Group A. Tambov in Group B. St. Gallen in Group C. Group D has Hadjuk. Group E is Trazensport. We'll drop in there and we'll play Dynamo, Kiev again. You watch. Hearts, there we go. So Sporting, Kiev, Cluj, and Hearts. That's a decent group for us. I reckon we've got a chance of getting out of that one. Atlanta, Club Bruges, Astana and Groningen. And then the last team then is Chelsea, Slavia Prague, Wolfsburg and Maccabi Haifa. And that is it. So we'll get to see the draw again shortly. And there we go. So Hearts, Sporting, Cluj and Dynamo Kiev. Hearts will face Sporting. Let's have a look at the schedule, see what happens there. Sort out this view, don't know what's going on. So we've got Sporting as the first game. Big one there. Dynamo Kiev and Cluj. So we'll definitely be coming back for that sporting game. Away from home as well. So let's get to Hamilton next. 
so Saturday's round of games first then. We've got Kilmarnock, Celtic, Rangers, Livingston, St. Johnston against Aberdeen and St. Mirren against Hibs. Will Celtic or Rangers drop points? That's the big thing. Are they going to open the door to let us back in? Rangers have. Rangers drew 0-0. They've slipped up. But Celtic win 3-1. A hat-trick from Milik. Rangers 0-0 with Livingston. St. Johnson 3-3 with Aberdeen. And Hibs win 1-0 against St. Mirren. And here we go then. We have Hamilton. Hamilton 11th in the league. Team selection wise, then we're going to go Gorey, Clark, Finley, Sutan, and Logan with Lombardo in the holding role. Richie Coventry and Janelli with Brown and Shankland up front. That is a big call up on Richie there. He has been shocking for us since we bought him, but let's go with that. Obviously, it goes without saying this is a game that we need to win and how have the fans reacted then. So Malcolm Shepard says Finley starting is a terrible call. And Phoenix McNenemy, what a name that is. Richie starting is good. So let's go. We're favourites here for a reason, that's what I'm going to tell the team. And we're at home. Let's just go out there and get a victory. Our form's been quite decent after those first two defeats, but it's similar to last season. So let's see if we can carry it on. As we are in eighth at the minute, obviously with a draw as it stands, but we need three points on the board. We need to finish today's episode with six points on the board, which will push us up in, into those European places. And that's just where we want to be. As half an hour has gone and nothing has happened, I'm going to demand more from the team as we're going to go through this first half with no highlights at all. Shankland has come in, has, has done nothing yet. As McKay, Muller, Gorey makes the save. So the first chance goes to Hamilton. Gorey pings it long. It's down and we are on the break. Richie, go on. Ball across, that's a great ball to Ginelli. Switches the play. Through to Shankland. Shankland, there you go. Lauren Shankland on his debut. That's his sixth goal of the season. Which is first for us. And there he goes. Just what you want before half-time. Shankland. Heroics. Him and Brown, what a partnership that could be. We've still got three, four years out of Shankland. For him to make a name with, for himself with us. And there we go at half-time. We go 1-0 up. Two shots on target and we've scored one of them. Not bad at all. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. I'm going to say I'm happy with your performance. Tactically, Logan is shattered. He wasn't in great condition before the game started. Rinnemott is going to come on out there. And that is the only change I'm going to make. So a free kick then in a dangerous area. This one's going straight in the top corner. Ginelli, can he do it? He can. What a free kick that is. No power, just dinks it over the wall. Keepers, I don't know what the keepers do. We'll get to see it again. And two 0 Do you know? Like I said, there's no real power on it. Just dinks it. Keeper, I don't like I say, don't know what he's doing. He's going the other way. And we're up into fifth. Two wins into, in today's episode would be banging, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. As Clark with the long throw, keepers coming out for it. He's not going to get there. It's an absolute mess, and it's out for a throw in again. We're just about to hit the hour mark then. McKay with the corner. Let's keep the clean sheet. Let's just hang on for the clean sheet now. There's John then. Uji's oh, Janelli out the way. There we go. Coventry, he's onside. Send him. Shanklin, can you get two? Not on this time, he can't. Really, Motta picks it up though. Go out wide to Janelli. Janelli ball in. It's Richie coming across at the back post as well. Doesn't get there. And Brooks, they go along, and now they're going to hit us on the counter as Muller is through. Gorey, big save, stands tall. And we get past the hour mark. Just though, before there's another highlight. Gunter. What a challenge that is. We've seen them given against us before, though. There's Lyon to John. Gunter, through to Emmanuel. He's hit the post and it's gone wide. We are hanging on a little bit now. They've been coming at us. Hamilton, obviously, still in 11th as we go up into 5th. Clark with a long loop and throw. Keepers coming to get it. Myers X there. 22 minutes to go. They go along. Oh, that is shocking from Suta. Emmanuel Gorey with another big save, though. Solid in goal. On a 6.9 rating as well. What's that about? He's not put a foot wrong. Ball in is cleared away by Lombardo. And there we go. Right, his time is going. 15 minutes gone. We will make a change in the last 10 minutes, I think. As Clark with the throw to Coventry. That is shocking from Coventry. And Muller is through on goal. Can Gorey stand tall again? He can't. 
And Nikolai Moller scores 2-1. God, we've been absolutely dominating this game. Last 10 minutes, though, things have changed. And that is shocking from Coventry. And Moller's allowed to run one-on-one -on -one with Gorey, who's made a couple of good saves already. Has a throw in. No way. Get it clear. Does it, how is he given a penalty? How is he given a penalty? In the league, we were 2 0 up, we were cruising. There's a penalty. We've got 11 minutes to go. McKay steps up and he scores. He scores. No way. Absolutely no way. As we've dropped the 2 0 lead and we're down into 8 with four points on the board. And that is out of nothing. Right. I'm going attacking. Brown's having a shocker. Let's get Patterson on. Swap those two guys around. Coventry let me down as well in the middle. Let's get Edwards on there. And let's play. As we've made a change, we've got nine minutes left to go attacking-wise. It's an even game as Clark to Finlay then. Come on. Ball across. Janelli headed away. And they pick it up. And there you go. Man sent off. Bang in. Great stuff. We have fought in 15 minutes. Sutar. You know, not a man who usually lets me down. Getting a red card. Lombardo's going to drop in. We're playing attacking as we're going to now go cautious. We're going to stick with the two men up front, though. Five minutes left to go. I just cannot believe this. So we've got four minutes left. There could be a highlight before the end of the game. I don't think we're going to get one. We're going to drop points after being 2-0 up. This is shocking. Absolutely shocking. That was not good enough. Really wasn't good enough. And there we go. We draw 2-2 with Hamilton, who started the day in 11th. Two goals in three minutes, the undoing there. And how have the fans reacted? Typical Haas, we just can't hold a lead. Abby Hutchinson is bang on. And there you go, one is even at Tynecastle Park. Shanklin scores on his debut, and Suta is banned for one match. We've seen that already anyway. So, league table then, we are in eighth. Four points on the board. We're already eight points behind Celtic. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Millic with eight goals on the board as well. So where do you join me next then? Um, I think for me, if we skip through a bit in time and we do St. Mirren and Cluj, I think would be a way to go. And then we've got Hibs and Sport in there, which would be a good place. And then that Dynamo Kiev might be a big one to come back for. So yeah, you'll join me again for St. Mirren and Cluj then. So thanks for watching. Another shocking collapse. But we get that 4-1 victory against AEK, which gets us into the Europa League. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.